Hi guys, this is Suneet and in this video we will discuss about how you can view the contents of a backup file inside a SQL Server. Before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon and select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. Please watch this video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept. Uh, if possible, watch this video twice and I would urge you to perform the exercises in your lab environment with test databases. And we would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos, so please do share your comments. Now let's get back to the topic uh, regarding how to view the contents of a backup file inside SQL. There are two ways to do this, uh, once using the GUI uh, in SSMS or you can do the same by using the T-SQL syntax as well inside SSMS. So let's go to SQL Server, let's uh, directly go to the demo. Mm. So let's see, so let me go inside SQL Server. So we have some backup files available. So we have an auth find full backup file available in which we had taken some backups uh, as the file is populated. We, if we want to view the contents of this file, how you can do that uh, via SQL Server Management Studio, let's uh, delve into that. So regarding how to take backups, you can watch out my other videos uh, which talks about how you can take full backups uh, of any database, in our case it's Northwind. So we are inside SQL Server, so we have connected to the appropriate instance of SQL Server and uh, this is Object Explorer and we have expanded the server tree as well. and. In this case, what we are doing is uh, we are expanding databases, we are expanding system databases, and let's select one of the system databases, maybe master, and you can select any any of the databases, not uh, particular requirements, select uh, system database, so you can select any database, so in our case, let's select Northwind, and go to task and select the backup option. This will open up a backup database dialog box and uh, there's a section for destination. If you look across here, there's a section for destination. So you can select either disk or URL. In our case, we are using disk. Uh, we are not backing it, up, backing it up to URL. So we are not taking actual backup, but uh, what we will do, we will uh, check the contents of the file. So let's remove that, whatever is in there. Now, so we have selected disk over here. Now, what we will do, we will click add. So this opens up the backup uh, to dialog box and here where we have to select the file name um, for the destination. And let's select Northwind full backup. Let's do okay. Let's do okay here. So this adds up the backup file in which we want to take the backup. But yeah, we just, we don't want to take a backup here, but what we are doing is we are just checking the content of the backup file, which is already there. So this file is already present over here. We want to check the contents. So we have added this file here. Now what we can do is we can click on the contents button, which will show you the contents within this file. So this file suggests that it has a full database backup, uh, which was taken on certain certain date, which was 14th February. At, and what was the finish date, and uh, LSN information, checkpoint size, uh, username who has taken the backup. So this is how you check the content of a backup file uh, using the GUI mode in uh, SSMS. And uh, the same thing you can do at Transact SQL as well. So now to do that, uh, click on the new query button and uh, type the SQL along with me. So the Syntax to view the contents of the file is to restore, use the keyword restore header only, which uh, does not actually perform the restore operation, but uh, will show you the content of a particular file. So in our case, we are restoring the contents from this particular file. So need to specify the location of this file. So copy this and put it here and get the name of the file, which is, uh, I can copy that as well. Otherwise you may, you may write as well. So Take the complete name and put it here and close the quotes. Now run this query, it will show you the contents of this file. So yeah, we got the contents in the bottom pane. 
So it shows that it has a backup type 1, which is a full database backup. And it gives other details like who has taken the backup, what was the database name, database version, database creation date, and backup start and stop times. So all the details related to the backup is uh, present for in this file and uh, you can use this particular command to restore header only to uh, restore the backup information or whatever the contents. You can use this uh, restore header only keywords to view the contents of a particular backup file. All right, so we are done for this video. In this video, we have shown you how you can view the contents of a backup file. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you really like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit on the bell icon and select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. All right, guys. Uh, thank you and you have a wonderful day ahead.